everybody! So today I am in Yokohama, Japan, here in front of the steak restaurant. It's called Neko Nez, some, uh, something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's a steak place with a massive steak challenge. I'm super excited to check this place out, so let's go see. So this is the interior. It's really cute. There's so many decorations. You get to see them cooking for you right here. That's the chef. He looks adorable, I love it. And I'm here at his restaurant doing a steak challenge. He has a whole samurai sword to cut this steak, you guys. That is so cool. So that's my chunk of steak right there. It is gonna be a huge steak challenge. Looks good, that's a huge piece of meat right there. Oh my God, awesome. Beautiful. Oh my god, that, that is a big piece. <laughs> that is a huge piece of meat, you guys. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, meet you. Okay. I'm away right now. Giving it away. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, look at him lifting it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even work. That's them cooking it on there. Oh my god, that piece of meat is so big. Wow. That, he's cutting into the middle right now to cook it, and that is an absolute chunk of meat. God, that's crazy. Looks good though. Wow. Also, side of fries right there. Oh my god, that steak is fucking. Wow. All right, here we go. Gonna put it on the platter here. Oh, look at that! Amazing! Wow! Here it comes my massive steak challenge. Oh my god! Okay. Wow! <laughs> Thank you. That looks incredible. Smells amazing. That is a huge piece of steak. This is their um, specialty seasoning. I don't think he really seasoned it when he cooked it. So we're going to have to season it ourselves. But um, we also got some special sauce right here. Too. Alright, let me just try to cut this. Okay. Alright, here we go. hard. Meat is very chewy. Definitely gonna get enough protein for today, that's for sure. I'm letting it cook on the tip on a little bit too. So it's more like medium. And you guys know I like my stuff well done. Oh, how do you get I feel like I have to cut it more into smaller pieces for it easier to eat. Oh. Now we're gonna have to work this slowly by slowly because there's so much tendon and stuff in the way. Let's try some of the seasoning bun. Ooh, oh, that's good. Oh, 
this is just so much fat and muscles. So I'm gonna have to cut through here. I feel like I'm butchering the meat on my own because he literally just butterfly it and just threw it on the ground. This makes it, this made it a lot easier. Let's try the sauce. Mmm. Oh, this is like a curry sauce. That's so good. <laughs> So it looks like right here, this is all fat. Mm. The fat tastes so good. Oh, I eat it anyway. They said if it's not cooked well enough for you, they can throw it back on the grill. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. meat is like hot oil right here so it's like cooking a little bit longer now I put it there I'm actually drinking something else. I'm drinking ginger ale today. <laughs> I knew I should have gotten some of the drinks at the Family Mart or 7-Eleven on the way here. There's usually a lot of restaurants in Asia that actually don't have Diet Coke. I usually have to buy it from a convenience store nearby. It's very interesting.
I'm so bad. I should not be eating all that fat, but you know what? It tastes so delicious. I'm gonna let this piece cook a little bit in that hot oil. This part right here is like really raw. So I'm gonna cut this and cook in there. <laughs> I got lost on the train ride by the way here. I the the train system is very intricate. It's really advanced, but it's very easy to get lost. Especially like I didn't pay attention twice, so I missed my train stop. But it's easy because you can get off at one train station um train line and just go the other way. But yeah, I, I miss a few stops along the way here. It took me almost two hours to get here when it should have only taken me like an hour for my Airbnb. Just making sure the camera is going. It happened to me once and I'm just so um, traumatized from that one time. Ooh, these fries were good. Mm. Well, the, the seasoning is like that one. It's very herby. Lots of flavors. Lots of black pepper, which I like. I'd say we're like a good halfway through the steak now. Ever since like it was given this knife, the knife really makes a huge difference.
That is chewing. Right. Let me cut this a smaller so it's easier. some sort of truffle oil. <laughs> mm. I'm letting it cook in this meat oil. Yeah. <laughs> this actually helps. This part is like pure fat. So I'm gonna, yeah. That's just pure fat. Let me cut this part off. <clears throat> I like eating the fat when there's like some meat on it, but this is just complete, like, it tastes like chewy butter. I think the key to eating steak challenges is you got to do it little by little. Otherwise, it, it becomes like you can't bite it wedging your mouth. It takes a long time to like chew it if you take too big of a bite. 
Also, this is just fat again. I don't know, this piece is, this piece is just so fatty. Let me cut this. Ugh. Yeah, let me cut this meat piece off. And a lot of challenges like this one is just like a chunk of meat and they don't clean it. I end up with a lot of fat pieces like this and usually the owner, like the restaurant is like, they don't really care. I mean, fat, it's just, it's just pure fat. Can't really expect anyone to eat pure fat, you know? Stick looks a lot cleaner. No more fatty parts that much. Just looks like kind of like pure meat. We're just good. This is my palate cleanser. French fries. I'm actually very surprised. Oh, those are good. There's like seaweed flavoring on that too. It's actually really delicious fries. This hot sauce. Green up in here.
Could you ask for it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I really miss my okay. diet coke. So sad. But we are almost there. I think I really think I saved the easiest part for the end. Because this part is just like the sour cut. Which is mostly meat. The hardest part was getting through all the fat and all the tendon and muscles. Now this is just pure protein. It's still a little chewy though. But it's still one of the better steaks I've had for steak challenges. Some steak challenges are like... Can't even get through it. Thank you so much. <laughs> the way you cut it makes it look like a flower, a meat flower. Isn't it cute?
It is definitely really tough for your jaw. A lot of chewing. But there we go. We finished. Oh my goodness. <coughs> oh, the flavor was delicious. And yeah, that was a lot of meat. I think I'm slightly in a meat coma right now. I'm a little lightheaded. But I, I can't get up how good these potatoes are. They're like truffle seaweed. Well, the toughest part really is just cutting it, but overall, pretty easy. I think it was like I did five point five pounds at most. They didn't have any like I'm just eating these potatoes for fun, but like it doesn't come with like any carbs you have to finish, so it's literally just pure protein that you have to eat. So that was super duper fun. Huge shout out to the chef again. That was. He was so adorable. I love the chef, love the place. It's just such a cute environment. And I was actually wrong. It's not exactly a challenge. It kind of got lost in translation. My Japanese is so rusty. I used to be really good, but I don't have anybody to practice Japanese with. So it's become very, very bad. Uh, so it was a little hard for me to figure out what was what. I also got lost on the train on the way home again. I am so bad with the directions. Anyways, so that place is just known for like massive portions and they just made me a huge steak. Um, but they're known for like a 1 kg steak, 2 kg steak, which is the one I had. So if you want to go there, eat a lot of meat, um, go right ahead. And their prices are fairly um, uh, reasonable. So definitely check them out if you're looking for a lot of meat. But either way, huge shout out to that restaurant. I'll put the description to their um, location in the description down below. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're looking forward to more. So make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. Bye bye.